we got some big news in the world of worship tech. Apple just, I mean, Renewed Vision just released their latest version of ProPresenter. ProPresenter 7 is now here. But there is one more thing. But first, we do have one more thing. I was watching their keynote and the whole time I just felt like there was gonna be a new iPhone or a new iPad, but we're probably not due for one of those keynotes from Apple until later this year. Nevertheless, it's been about five years since ProPresenter has released this major of an update. In this video, I'm gonna share some of my opinions on this new update. I took some notes while I was watching the keynote and then I also actually purchased the update. So I have ProPresenter 7 here on our MacBook Pro. If we haven't met yet, my name is Jay Jake Goslin with churchfront.com, helping you lead gospel-centered and tech-savvy worship. So I am a worship tech nerd, and in this video, I'm excited to dive deep into this tool that is a super powerful tool when it comes to presenting lyrics, video, and other elements visually in your worship gatherings. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're coming out with new videos at least once, sometimes twice per week, so you can stay up to date with the latest tools and strategies for your worship ministry. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Pro Presenter 7. My first impression when I opened up this uh, new updated version is I just love the new UI. I love dark mode and I also love this whole left to right layout. You have all of your assets here in the left column. You've got your library containing all your songs, and then when you click on your playlist here, you'll see, you know, this is a playlist for this coming Sunday. And then down here, we have all of our media bins for like different backgrounds and things like that. Um, I just imported this all, just updated, you know, from six to seven. So I probably got to go through and mess around with this a little bit more to make sure everything's up to par. But even this update process was pretty quick and easy going from six to seven. Of course, it was 275 that we had to pay to make that update, um, but totally well worth it. This software, um, they've put a lot of work into it and I love what I see so far. And just compare these UIs side by side. ProPresenter 7 is what you see here and then you have ProPresenter 6. You know, I don't have the library linked to ProPresenter 6 anymore since it's in ProPresenter 7, but you know, this just feels like 2015, like so five years ago. Um, it's still good, um, but you know, Eventually, these things just kind of feel dated, not up with the times. Um, let's quit ProPresenter 6, don't need you anymore. ProPresenter 7, it just looks like it's 2020. Um, just really love how in dark mode, the content really just seems to pop more. Um, it just, you just feels like a cool worship leader when you're working in here. You know, stuff like that really matters. We're so cool, we call it contempervent. You know, we spend a lot of time in these software tools. <laughs> so anyways, great job whoever's in charge of UI design. The other big change I like about the way they're developing the software is how now they're giving Mac and Windows sort of equal treatment. I don't know the, the science or the computer engineering, software engineering that goes behind it, but they just have a much better way, it sounds like, to keep developing the software for both platforms and Windows is no longer uh, second fiddle as one of the, the keynote speakers uh, put it. So this is exciting for things like, you know, before you can only put the MIDI module in the Mac version of ProPresenter, but now MIDI's gonna work for both of the platforms. In ProPresenter 7, they've also really upped the game when it comes to uh, multi-screen outputs and having a ton of control uh, with it. So I don't have multiple displays plugged into this computer right now, but say that I did, you know, when we have this at church, we're going to, I go to this screen section right here, um, and then I can go to open screen configuration, and this just seems like so much more intuitive than it has been in the past. Um, so you have screens for your audience. So maybe you have multiple, you know, three screens, however many screens for your audience. Then you have your stage screens as well. Um, so that is really neat. You can just add the screens in uh, right here and it's gonna save all those settings. So the power of that's awesome. But then even like when you're down here, you're looking at your preview window. Um, you can preview the different screen outputs right here. Um, but it's just like really flexible now to be able to 
you know, send something to an output and then be able to continue working in the software, editing things and, and not have it be be interfering. So uh, really impressive there with the, the multi-screen control. And even though they've changed quite a bit, the UI's changed, it's still just very familiar. I feel like going through and building my set list is as easy as ever. Um, so I can go ahead and they have this new search feature now. So um, I can go ahead and find a song. We actually haven't put that song in the library, but this one right here, let's say gracefully broken. Um, I'll go ahead and just take that and then I'll just drag it here and then bam, that song is in our set list. You know, I could throw in a background here on the song. Uh, we usually queue up all the songs just directly from the image bin using Ableton automation, but you'll, you'll just see that this workflow is very familiar. Um, if I want to go in and edit this, I can go ahead and you know hit edit mode here. They've really improved this editor mode. I just I'm a big fan of uh, this new layout. And of course there's new features and stuff like that you can dive into um, if you watch their keynote with timers and, and things like that. Um, not a huge deal for me. Uh, they also have the reflow viewer. So that's kind of cool. I like how they um, have this different layout right here now where it's like, okay, you're either in reflow mode, you're in edit mode, or you're in show mode. Before it'd be like you toggle edit on and off. And now, now you don't do that. You just go to either the, the show mode to like show you the slides and you know how you're actually showing your presentation um, or you go into edit mode. We also still have our themes or templates. I feel like they used to be called templates. Maybe now it's switched the name to theme uh, so we can easily you know apply our formatting for our lyrics and such. Um, so that's right here. I think it used to be over here. Another significant improvement they've made is with the uh, stage display editor. So here I go to more and I go to stage editor. I don't go into preferences. It's right there, easy to get to. It takes up the whole screen. I can really dial in these different displays. And what's cool is you can actually create a bunch of different stage display layouts. Another interesting move they're making is with this new Pro Plus um, quasi subscription service. It's not a subscription to get the software, the initial license of it. But if you want to keep getting their more frequent updates, you're going to be subscribing. I think it's around 150 bucks a year, which sounds like really reasonable. So the way it's going to work is you have to purchase the, the license to get pro presenter seven and you can get, you know, again, a discounted um, rate. If you had pro presenter six and you're just upgrading, that's what I did, but 399 for one seat, or 999 for up to 20 seats at a single campus. And with that initial purchase, you get the 12 months of Pro Presenter Plus support. But then after 12 months, so starting for me next late January, uh, I'll be billed another $159 um, to have that continued support and updates for the software. Totally makes sense. We're definitely in a more sort of software as subscription world these days. And you know, I think it makes way more sense for them to be able to just keep developing this, keep making it better. I'd rather pay more for a subscription software that's going to be developed well, have a good team behind it, the economics work out, rather than just expecting to pay, you know, one time fee and then expect it five years later to be just as good. You just, it's not logical to think that way about this software. So I think this is a cool way. Maybe they'll fully shift to subscriptions uh, down the road. That's what I would suspect they might do. Um, and I think that's a good idea. But this is a cool way to kind of transition to it where, yeah, you still have to pay up front. You, you can still use it forever, um, but you just won't get the, the updates and stuff and support if you don't subscribe to ProPresenter Plus. Another real cool thing they've done about the whole pricing with the software is instead of charging for all of these different modules, like, like the MIDI module, for example, if you wanted to automate ProPresenter with Ableton, um, now it all comes as part of the software for no extra cost. So those are the features I wanted to highlight that I'm really excited about. There are many other little uh, updates and maybe not so little updates in here, you know, even the audio player and settings that got updated as well. Um, so definitely dive into this software yourself. Go to Renewed Vision's website. You can download it for free and try it all out for free. They'll put a watermark on the output when you try to present it. That's when you have to pay for the license. But I always tell people, go download the software. Don't pay for it yet. Just try it out. Start building your slides, building your presentations, and then you'll 
see for yourself whether or not it's going to make sense for your church in your context. At this point, I really don't have any negative opinions about this software. Uh, my team's actually been using Proclaim for the past few months. Uh, we've been testing it out. Um, we do recommend it as a great option for a lot of our uh, students and the folks who work with us in worship leader school. But ProPresenter is, is up there as well. It's, it's, I really have two recommendations for this software. And I think ProPresenter does have an edge with some of the higher end professional capabilities with like the multi-screen outputs and things like that. So um, we're actually going to go back to ProPresenter. I plan on doing this in like uh, the next couple weeks. We're going to use ProPresenter 7 and really do a more thorough uh, test drive of this software. Um, and who knows, maybe we'll stick with it for the long term. You guys know me. I change software tools and stuff like that more often than I change my underwear. Not really, but it, I like to try these things out uh, to be able to experiment them with you. So I'm, I'm gonna use this for a few weeks and then I'm gonna do some more in-depth comparisons with this and Proclaim. But already, already I can just say like Proclaim, I feel like is awesome for, um, again, simpler setups where maybe it, you you just want to have that cloud-based software because Proclaim is very cloud-based. That's its strong suit. Um, it's great for team collaboration. ProPresenter, eh, not as much, but it's more for like, I think the pro use end of things and like really having control over your media, where it's displayed, how it's displayed, when it's displayed, all that, that fancy stuff um, you can really do with this software. So that's my opinion. As a longtime ProPresenter user, I'm very pleased with this update. I can't wait to, to dive in and start using it. We're going to develop a new course on this version of ProPresenter for Worship Leader School over the next couple weeks as well. And speaking of, if you want help, if you want my team's assistance in navigating the latest tech in building out a strong tech infrastructure for your worship ministry, then check out worshipleaderschool.com. We've got online courses. We've got my team there to coach you and give you kind of a customized plan. Um, and we're just going to help you really implement that plan in record time. Um, that's really our area of specialty. So head on over to worshipleaderschool.com to learn more and apply to work with us today. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up button, share it with your friends in worship ministry, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos to help you grow yourself and grow your worship ministry.